Today, folks, we're going to be talking about the upcoming Nintendo Direct. And no, this isn't exactly a Prime News episode, but that's okay because it's a single topic. But it's a single topic that's really important because we now have a date for this Nintendo Direct. So we need to talk about it. And you know what? Maybe we'll dive into a little bit of other stuff, including a conversation I want to have towards the end of the video. But you know what? Without further ado, let's remind you that we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So why don't you go ahead and smash that validation button, subscribe to the channel, and ring-a-ling that ding -a to be notified of all future uploads. Or I think I'm supposed to say, jingle that tingle? You're welcome, Sam West. All right, so first up, we need to just talk about this Nintendo Direct because we now have a date to expect it this week. Not that it shouldn't be obvious at this point. There were a lot of people, myself included, that were hoping for a Nintendo Direct to be announced today, to happen tomorrow. In fact, that would have been perfect for the Nintendo Prime podcast because, hey, we would have been able to react to the Direct rather than postpone. Well, we're not going to postpone the, the podcast, but obviously we're going to have to talk about something else because we already did our Nintendo Direct predictions last week. Well, either way, we have a date for this, and so let's just dive into the given information. Now, this is according to some slight information that we did get from Nate the Hate, where he ran a poll a little bit ago that had language in it that would, it was indeed happening on the 14th, combined with wording on his podcast that suggested the Direct would be a few days after his podcast went up this week. Then again, the way he worded everything in his podcast was pretty vague as can be and really only suggested 100% for sure it was happening the same week as his podcast aired and his podcast aired on Monday. But we do have more information pointing to the 14th. While I won't show you this information in particular because it comes from Spawncast Patreon, which obviously you have to pay to be a member of, Nate the Hate is actually part of the Spawn cast, and there is an exclusive content post there that goes over Nintendo Switch 2, recapping all the details that Nate the Hate already shared with us, and also saying the following about a Nintendo Direct. The good news is a Direct is still expected to happen and should be airing on Thursday. So that's a direct quote. You don't believe me? Obviously, you can go through the paywall to see it for yourself. We'll put a link to the post down below. But yes, that is something that was said on the Spawn cast Patreon. But... We don't have to just rely on something I can't show you guys. How about something that I can show you guys? And that is publicly posted tweets from none other than Necro Felipe, the editor in chief of Universo Nintendo. And he responded to someone you're know, wondering about the direct or when are we going to get the direct? And he just straight up said, the 14th it's happening on the 14th his tweets up on screen you guys can check it out for yourself so there you go we have the 14th now confirmed from i believe two different places we could argue three but you know one of them is well the spawn cast and obviously nate the hate are, are related in some sense so anyways we have two different different sources on this so it definitely looks like it's happening on the 14th and that is extremely extremely exciting and that's going to lead to us wondering did pioro get all this stuff right over the weekend when he liked that 13th number was he just talking about the day the director would be announced rather than the day the director would happen did it even mean anything at all is pioro legit i were about to find out a whole bunch of stuff even though Pioro has a pretty good spot record, this is yet another Direct, and he's taken a lot of swings, and even if there was smaller games, it's still something that we need to see for ourselves. That being said, we also just need to talk briefly about the Nintendo Switch 2. Now look, the Nintendo Switch 2 caused a bit of a stir, a bit of a controversy, when all of this supposed information came out. And the reason it caused quite a stir is because, well, the reports, especially coming from you know, Nate the Hate and... Video Game Chronicle and stuff are simply stating that developers are so impressed with the Matrix demo on Switch. They're saying that it looks as good as the PlayStation 5 version. And in some cases, according to, you know, Nate the Hate, the ray tracing capabilities might be even better than PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, to be fair, both of those platforms. It's interesting thinking about this because so many people have been yelling to the moon that this can't be true. Nintendo would never use powerful hardware. This and that. All these reasons that Nintendo would not do this and that it's just not possible and this thing couldn't possibly be able to do this. The Steam Deck can't do it and the Steam Deck's battery is crap. Blah, blah, blah. blah. And, and I just want to point out, I don't. I, I kind of went into this during a live stream last night. I just want to point out that we aren't comparing apples to apples when we're talking about comparing what you know, hardware and capabilities are inside a PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X or even a Steam Deck or an Aya Neo. They're all using the same Ryzen AMD technology, 
versus what Nintendo is using with NVIDIA. From all you know, calculations and according to Digital Foundry, they are using the T239 chip, which is based on Ampere. Ampere is the 3000 series of GPUs, which, yes, have better ray tracing capabilities than even today's AMD modern GPUs, which aren't even the GPUs inside the PlayStation 5 and Xbox series. Those are actually Zen 2 or older. So the point I am just trying to point out is that we're comparing completely different technologies. DLSS, as an example, doesn't exist exist on AMD. They do have something that's comparable in FSR, but even that FSR doesn't have all the full capabilities of DLSS and doesn't have the dedicated hardware cores that DLSS has. So in the end, all we can really do is wait and see. I think a lot of these arguments are going to become mute once the Nintendo Switch 2 is actually unveiled. And remember, folks, could be unveiled as soon as March of 2024, maybe even released by then. I don't know, man. The, the, the speculation is it's just going wild out there. Now, beyond all that, I just want to end this video with maybe a clearing of the conscience, a wiping my mind a little bit clean on some stuff, uh, you know, just surrounding the channel and surrounding me as somebody who provides news and reports. And this is really probably the primary reason we're sitting down here because I want you to sit down with me while we talk about this. I sometimes care too much about what people think about me, but I also make a lot of mistakes. Let's just let's just be frank. I, I make a ton of mistakes in my reports. I make a ton of mistakes in things I put out on social media. And th this is not me hiding from those mistakes or me trying to make excuses for those mistakes. It's an apology, but it's an apology to my audience because I've already apologized, I feel like, in the ways I needed to to everyone else surrounding the mistakes I have made. And to those that I haven't apologized to, it's only because... Uh, I'm, they just don't want to hear me. So I make mistakes. And my goal at this channel is to obviously be extremely informative, extremely well-versed, and obviously well-researched. And sometimes I make jumps and conclusions to things that I probably shouldn't have. As an example, I mentioned in passing in yesterday's video that Necro Felipe was saying that the Direct was going to be announced today, when really all it did was say that Nintendo was going to tweet tomorrow because someone was asking him why Nintendo hadn't tweeted yet today, and that was yesterday. Obviously, Nintendo did end up putting out a tweet yesterday anyways, but it wasn't Nintendo Direct related, and obviously today's tweets aren't Nintendo Direct related either. The point I am making is that I falsely associated that with him saying that we're going to get that Direct announced today, and it was a false equivalency, and I obviously believe that context matters. Just like Pioro liking a tweet that where someone asked him, hey, what do you think of the 13th? Look, the full context is him liking that tweet doesn't necessarily mean the director is going to happen on the 13th or the director will be announced on the 13th. We're missing a lot of context because we're not sure why he liked that tweet. We only know that in the past he has liked tweets that ended up being leaks. But was this a leak for a direct day or a direct announcement? Again, this is all stuff that just left up to debate. And when we consider all the full context of everything... I jumped the gun sometimes, and I accused Necrofilipe today of being wrong about the direct stuff. I did this on Twitter. It was an absolute mistake on my part, but I'm more worried about the mistakes I make in my reporting when I talk about things. I'm someone that's always argued that context matters, context matters, context matters, and I feel like I do give a lot of context in my videos behind the stuff I'm saying, and I tried to go into high detail on why I think something might be right, why I think something might be wrong, maybe a bit of the track record of what's going on, especially if we're talking about leaks and rumors, but I, I realize that throughout this, I do make mistakes, and I, I just want to apologize to my audience and say that I want to be more comparable to those mistakes. So I, well, well I, I admit these mistakes, you know, on live streams and other stuff. What I want to do is I want to add a new section to my Prime News videos, and it's probably towards the end because I obviously want the focus most of the videos to be on hey, here are my, you know, here's the news, here's my thoughts, yada, yada. But I think I'm going to add a new section at the end of every Prime News. I don't know what to call it yet. You guys can help me come up with a name if you want. It's going to be a corrections section. This is where I look back on what was said the day before, even the day before that, uh, you know, depending on when, when the corrections are made. And I allow myself to correct the record on things I said, things I said incorrectly, uh, especially in regards to the, the prior news videos. Basically, it's a way for me to correct the news and make sure that we have the most full and update information out there. So 
I, this is where you guys come in. One, I want to come up with a cool name for that section of the video. You know, it's only going to be about a minute or so, I think, of, of every Prime News video. So I, I just want to come up with a cool name for it. So I'm taking some name ideas down in the comments. I also want you guys to be the ones that primarily call me out and make the corrections because I won't always catch my own mistakes. This is just the way it goes. So I want you guys, you know, if you're fact checking me or whatever you're doing, I want you to provide those critical corrections down in the comment section on my videos. And then I will take that information and implement it in a correction section and even, you know, give credit to at least the people I have seen corrected. And obviously anybody else, you know, maybe I even br bring up your exact comment on the correction just to throw it out there that yes i make mistakes i am human i am flawed i'm just trying to make the best content for you guys and i think by allowing myself to have that correction section it's not only going to make me have this goal of not having to have that correction section in each video because i don't want to make mistakes it also helps the community feel like they're part of this channel and can help correct the record and, and get all the news straight and all the facts right for everyone who watches my videos every day so Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate all of your support, and I'll catch you in the next video.